Hello, welcome back. I'm Jason with mathandscience.com. Today we're going to cover the concept of graphing parabolas, parabolas opening up, opening upward, and opening downward. So we're inching our way forward, learning and dissecting the equations of these parabolas. Now we're going to concentrate on what makes a parabola open upward like a smiley face, or if it opens downward like a frowny face, what makes that happen? And so in this equation, or in this board, this is what we did in the last lesson. And I just left it up here. I haven't really made any changes. But we talked about the concept of the basic parabola f of x is equal to x squared. And we did a quick little table of values and we plotted that and we drew the general shape of the parabola. And this is an example of a parabola that opens upward because you know obviously it opens upward and the opposite of that would be a parabola that opens downward. So I'm gonna focus on this equation now because the, the basic parabola is f of x is equal to x squared. It's the most basic one you can have. Let's start to talk a little bit about a more general form of the uh, parabola here. So a more general form more, I'm not going to say it's the complete general form, but it's more general parabola than what we have here is the following. And uh, the more general form of the parabola is y equals a times x squared. So the only thing that we've done is we've added something called a in front of the x squared, and we say that a is positive or negative but it cannot equal zero. In other words, examples here, some examples, some real examples. You could have a is equal to 2x squared. a would be 2. You could have a is equal to 4x squared. You could have a is equal to 1.5x squared. You could have a is equal to 3 quarters, 3 fourths x squared. Doesn't matter if it's a decimal or a fraction. It just has to be a number bigger than zero, or it could be uh, smaller than zero. a could be negative 4x squared. a could be negative 2x squared. a could be negative 19x squared. a could be negative 1 half x squared. But it can't be 0, because if you have a 0 here, then the whole thing goes to 0, and y is equal to 0, and y is equal to 0 is a horizontal line in the, you know, on the, along the x-axis there. It's not a parabola at all. So a has to be something other than 0, uh, otherwise the thing just kills it and it's not a parabola at all. So you might say, how does that go with what we had here? Well, if you think about the general form of a parabola being ax squared, then I have an invisible one right here. So in the case of the basic parabola, which is what I told you I want you to burn in your mind, a is just equal to one. So when you have a is equal to one, you have that very basic, kind of like the most central parabola that we have, and anything other than a is going to slightly change the shape of the parabola. And the most important thing about A that we want to talk about, this concept of A, is the following thing. Uh, if the variable A happens to be positive, which means it's bigger than zero, then that means that the parabola opens up. And by the way, I have a, a computer demo right at the end of the lesson here that I'm going to show you that's going to show graphically how, how these parabolas behave. So stick with me to the end and you'll see it graphically interactive there. So if a is greater than zero, the parabola opens up. I'll explain why in a second. If a is less than zero, which means it's a negative number, then that means the parabola opens down, which means it's a frowny face kind of parabola. Now, let me first give you a couple of examples. Let me get a couple of things down here. I'm going to show you what this actually means, and then I'm going to show you why it works, and then I'm going to do the computer demo so that you can see uh, even more clearly what's going on here. So let's get some, uh, let's get some, some more um, information on the board before I can draw anything. One more thing I want to say, this is actually just as important as everything else here. As the value of a increases, whether it's positive or negative, as it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, that's what this means here. This notation means as a gets bigger and bigger and bigger, then that means the parabola gets more narrow. Gets more narrow. Now let me show you what I mean. I, I, I love talking, of course, but I really like showing more than anything else. So let's do an example. Let's start right here. And let's do that basic parabola here. I'm going to draw a little sketch, a little sketch of a basic parabola. This parabola is going to be y is equal to x squared. This parabola is going to be that basic, beautiful parabola that goes and touches and goes like this, and so on. It opens upward because there's an invisible 1 in front of here, which means a is bigger than 0. The parabola opens up. Right? And I'm going to show you a little more clearly why that's the case in a second. Right? Now let's change it very slightly. And let's take a, a slightly different equation. 
and we'll draw it on another axis right here. Let's say that y is equal to 2x squared. So you see what we've done is we've replaced a instead of with 1 here, we've made it bigger. So what do you think is going to happen, right? As I, I put the numbers in front, I and mean, you can kind of see what's going to happen over here. The, the basic equation has a parabola with a table of values like this. This was y is equal to x squared. If I make it y is equal to 2 times x squared, then what's going to happen is I'm going to get all of these values out. I'm going to put the, the value of x in. I'm going to calculate the answer. And whatever I get, and then I'll have to multiply it by 2. So every one of these things is going to be multiplied by 2, which means they're all going to be bigger. At the same value of x, all of these points are going to get bigger, which means they're going to be shifted up, which means when you have a bigger number here, the parabola is going to get steeper like this. It's going to close up a little bit, something like this. Right? And now you can see why. I know a lot of books tell you, well, when the number gets bigger, it gets bigger, but you don't often think about why. The reason is because when compared to the basic parabola, if you have a 2 in front, then every number you get out of this thing is multiplied by 2, which means instead of 9, it's going to be 18. Instead of 4, it's going to be 8 here. Instead of 1, it'll be 2, and so on and so on. So every one of these points will be shifted up, which means the thing will be steeper. All right? Let's take a look at another, another uh, guy here. Let's say that it is, uh, what did I choose here? 6x squared. So not 1x squared, not 2x squared, but 6x squared. That means that every point that comes out of the x squared part here, everyone in that table gets multiplied by 6. So that means that they all get shifted up, and that means that this parabola is going to be incredibly steep, something like this. I don't know exactly. I haven't graphed it, but it's going to be much steeper than this one. In fact, it's probably going to be even more narrow than the way I've drawn it here, because it's basically 6 times as steep as this one, like this. All right, now that it goes the other way. So this is 1x squared, 2x squared, 6x squared. Notice I left a little space here in front because I want to draw one more, but I wanted, it to, I wanted to do it at the end. What if I did the following equation? What if I did y is equal to 1 half x squared? So you see 1x squared, 2x squared, 6x squared, but this is a half x squared, which means that if I were to take the table of values, and if I put a, a 1 half in front, then whatever I get out, like the 9, would be cut in half. So that would be 4.5. This would be cut in half. That would be a 2. This would be cut in half, which is a half, and so on. So it means all of these points, instead of being scrunched up, they're going to actually be coming down and kind of flattening out. So in this case, instead of getting narrower this way, because it's a 1 half here, this parabola gets much more lazy and kind of like opens up more broadly because all the points that were here get pushed down. So the thing opens up like a flower, kind of. So as a gets larger, the parabola gets more and more narrow. And as a is larger than zero, which is all of these cases, all of these are bigger than zero, then the thing opens up. And you can see why. Because if a is bigger than zero, then these numbers are all still positive. So everything is still going to open up as it does. It just changes the shape of the graph. Right? Important for you to remember. Because as we get into more complicated uh, discussions, I don't want you to have to think, oh, A is bigger. What's going to happen? I want you to have an intuitive understanding. When A is positive, it's a standard parabola. But as it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, it closes up because it's getting steeper. And I'm trying to explain that here. Now, let's take a look at the other case. What happens if A is less than zero? We say that the parabola opens down. So let's do that one real quick and try to explain why. Right? And then we'll do our computer demo. So here we have the equation, and I'm going to draw it right down below. And this one's going to be not y is equal to x squared. It's going to be y is equal to negative x squared. So what have I done here? Here, a, the value in front of the x squared, is a positive 1. Here, the value in front of the x squared is a negative 1. So it's the same absolute value, positive 1, negative 1, but it's just negative instead of positive. So it should have the exact same shape. It should open up the same way, but it's going to open up down. So it's going to look something like this. And I, I can't draw things perfectly, but it's going to go up to a maximum value here and then down. Now I want to explore why with you. Why does it open down? Why does it open down when this is negative here? Because let's go back to our basic parabola. Everything comes back to the basic parabola. These are the table of values for the basic parabola. Instead of y is equal to x squared, if I made it y is equal to negative x squared, then what would happen is for everything that comes out of the x squared, if I stick this in, I get a 9, stick this in, get a 4, and so on, I'm going to get that out, but then I'm going to multiply by negative 1. So that means that this output would not be 9. It would be negative 9. 
This one would be negative four. This one would be negative one. This, you can't have a negative zero, so it's gonna be zero. And then again, this one is negative one, negative four, negative nine. So what happens is you take all of the positive values that you had for the positive version of the parabola and you stick a negative sign on there, which means you take all of these points and you map them down below. This positive nine becomes a negative nine. This positive four becomes a negative four. This positive one becomes a negative one. Same thing happens on this side. So then the parabola opens up downward. That is why the parabola opens downward when the coefficient in front is negative. It's because you're taking the basic parabola, the x squared, and you're sticking negative signs right on the outside of it. And those are the points that you have to plot. That's why it opens up downward, all right? It's something that isn't exactly taught in every book or every class. It's kind of like they tell you to memorize, hey, this thing opens down, but they never really tell you why. And so that's why I'm trying to do here. Now, what do you think is going to happen if I say not 2x squared, negative 2x squared? Well, the negative sign means it's going to open down, but the value of the coefficient, the absolute value of it is a 2, which means it's going to be steeper, which means it's going to be a mirror image of what I have up above here. So it's going to be steeper than this one, or I should say crunched up a little bit more. Something like that. So I'm trying to draw a mirror image of what I have here. The negative sign reflects it downward, and the two makes the value steeper, as we've discussed before. And then the last one we're gonna do, you can totally guess what's gonna happen here. Uh, not a big surprise. If you have, instead of six x squared, uh, negative six, uh, I ran out of space. Let me go ahead and fix that real quick. Uh, uh, negative six x squared. What's that going to look like? It's going to look exactly like this, but flipped upside down. So I'll try my best. Not going to probably do a great job, but basically the parabola will be even steeper than these, but mapped downward. So there shouldn't be any confusion up to this point. I've tried to outline it and make it as clear as I can. Parabolas are in general a times x squared. This is still not the most general form, but it's more general than what we had before. It's centered in the origin. That hasn't changed, but the value of this coefficient in front changes how the thing looks. If it's a positive value, it always opens upward no matter what. If it's a negative value, it always opens downward no matter what. And the size of A, as it gets in larger and larger, the parabola gets more narrow, even if it's negative. If it's a bigger negative value, it just gets more, na more narrow in the negative way. Now what I want to do is follow me over to the computer where I can show you a little more graphically and kind of interactively how this works. So follow me on right now. Hello, welcome back. So what we have is our computer demo. We have an equation, f of x is equal to x squared. This is our standard parabola we've been talking about. And this is the table of values that I had basically drawn on the board, except now I'm going uh, negative one, negative two, negative three, and also I include negative four and negative five. So I have a, a more, more um, points here, but you can see that one, four, nine, those are the same ones we had on the board, but now we have 16 and 25. I have a little more points now. What if I change this curve? So instead of x squared, it's 2x squared. You see what happened is the problem got steeper. And the reason it got steeper is because all of these numbers got bigger. They got multiplied by two. If I go back to this one, you can see the 25 was right here, negative five comma 25. And then when I multiply it by two, it becomes negative five comma 50. And you can see all of these numbers because this was a nine, nine times two is 18. For instance, they all get multiplied by two. Uh, no matter what. And so as I go past that, this is times three and so on, I can crank this thing up and the parabola just becomes more and more narrow. Now it's 10 times, uh, the, every point is multiplied by 10. So it was 25, now it's 250 up here for this value and so on and so on. And that is why the parabola gets more and more steep there and the uh, table of values kind of shows that. Now let's go back to zero. What do you think is gonna happen when we go to the negative direction? Well, here, First of all, we have to go through zero. Zero times x squared means that basically you have no values because the value is zero no matter what. So this is a flat horizontal line. It's not a parabola at all, which is what we said uh, in the lecture there. But as we go negative, negative x squared means you now have a frowny face parabola upside down. So all of those points for the positive parabola simply have a negative sign on them. And that is why it maps like this. To prove that to yourself, let's go through. You can see you have 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. And then here you have negative uh, one, negative four, negative nine, negative 16, negative 25 for both cases. That's why it goes negative like this. And then you can make it steeper and steeper in that direction. Again, we can go to negative 10. You can see you have your negative 250 here. So that is why parabolas or how parabolas open and get steeper when they're positive. The larger the value in front makes it steeper. They open downward when they're negative. And as that value gets larger, they get 
uh, steeper in that direction as well. Now I'm going to get a little bit ahead of myself. I'm going to talk about this a little more in the next few lessons, but since I'm here, I want to show you that these basic parabolas are always centered uh, at the uh, origin here. And so I'm just telling you that what's in front basically changes the steepness of the thing. And if it opens up or it opens down, but it doesn't really matter where the parabola lives. Let's go move the parabola over here. We haven't talked about this much yet, but I'm going to move it over here. So here I have X squared plus two X plus two. It's still a parabola and it still opens up because the coefficient in front of the X squared here is a positive one. It still opens up as I increase the coefficient in front of the x squared term, this number right here, the five, it's getting bigger and bigger, which just basically changes that the parabola is getting steeper and steeper and steeper, right? And as I go in the negative direction, now, it, whoops, it turns into a line there, but when I go negative, it turns into a parabola over here, making it an upside down parabola. And as I make that number bigger and bigger in the negative direction, it gets steeper and steeper and steeper. So here's your basic parabola uh, here, being in the positive sense, opening up, in the negative sense opening down. So let me go ahead and reset this guy uh, to where uh, it should be. And here's your basic parabola. Now let's go back to the board and close the lesson. All right, welcome back. I, I like to draw pictures on the board, but I really think the computer demos make things so much easier to understand in a lot of cases. And that is the basic idea that as you make this number in front of the x squared term larger and larger, the thing gets steeper and steeper. And it actually, as I showed you in the computer, doesn't even matter if the parabola is located right at the origin. Wherever the parabola is, the only thing that governs if the thing opens up or down is going to be if the coefficient in front of the x squared term is positive or negative. Also, the steepness of the parabola is governed by the steepness of this term. If you get the uh, whatever's in front here, uh, larger and larger and larger, the parabola will close up like this. Same thing if it's upside down. So I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you understand every, uh, every topic here. Sketch some of these yourself. And then follow me on to the next lesson where we're going to start shifting the parabola around. See, we haven't really shifted it in the lesson here anywhere. We have just kept it at the origin and looked at what happens when it opens up and down. But now we want to start to talk about what happens when you shift the parabola in different parts of the xy plane.